hello friends welcome back to my channel quest for knowledge today we are going to go through with all the mcqs because according to the new paper pattern you are going to score 10 marks by just going through with these mcqs so please don't take mcqs for granted because it is going to give you good marks a question we have the scarce resource of an economy have competing usages okay because we have very resources are very limited so it it can be used alternatively so competing usages is the answer which of the following is an example of microeconomic study micro whenever the word micro comes you can see consumer behavior comes under the microeconomic rest of the thing we discussed in the macro one so the answer is consumer behavior which of the following is macroeconomic variable here you can see aggregate demand is the sub Subject matter which we study in macroeconomic central problem of an economy includes what to produce how to produce for whom to produce so answer is all of the above traditionally the subject matter of economics has been studied under the following broad branches of micro and macroeconomics utility is subjective in nature shape of an indifference curve is normally convex to the origin the shape of the production plausibility frontier is concave in origin so this is what you should know in order to answer these question the consumption bundles that are available to the consumer depends on the price and income how you will consume you will see what is your income level and you see the price which the person is offering to you the equation of a budget line is p1 x1 plus p2 x2 is equals to n p1 is price of one commodity x1 is quantity of the one commodity plus p2 is the price of the other commodity x2 is the quantity of the other com commodity should be equal or less to m which means income the demand for these goods increases as income increases so here what you need to know that demand of good increases as income increases is for the normal good the demand of good decreases with the increase of the income is for the inferior goods okay a vertical demand curve is perfectly inelastic there is if there is no changes even there is a lot more change in price the quantity demand has no change it means it is a vertical demand Ordinal utility analysis expresses utility in ranks, okay, in a qualitative manner. The formula of production function is quantity is equals to function of land and capital, okay, Q is equals to F into L K. In the short run, a firm cannot vary all the input. So you can vary just one of the input and the one should be fixed. So you cannot change all the input. You cannot keep all the inputs fixed. And even you cannot vary all the inputs. Okay, the change in output per unit of change in input is called as a marginal product. In Cobb-Dollar's production function, the formula is Q is equals to XT comma X bar. TC is equals to TFC plus TVC is the answer. In a perfect competition, each firm produces and sells homogeneous product same kind of a product in monopolistic competition they are imperfect competition so they will sell heterogeneous product the increase in total revenue for a unit increase in the output is also called as marginal revenue the firm's profit is denoted by pi r pi r means profit when the supply curve is vertical the elasticity of supply is zero the revenue per unit of output of a firm is called as AR, that is average revenue. In a perfect competition, buyers and sellers are price takers, not price makers. Monopoly is a price maker and uh, the perfect competition, they are price takers. A situation where the plans of all consumers and firms in the market match. So that situation will call it as the equilibrium situation. 
as a result of increase in the number of firm there is an increase in supply then supply curve will shift towards right if decreases then it will shift towards left that is what you have to answer the firm earns super normal profit as long as the price is greater than the minimum of the variable cost average variable cost the government imposing upper limit upper its price ceiling lower its price flooring a market structure which produces heterogeneous product is monopolistic competition the change in total revenue due to the sale of an additional whenever the word additional comes that is the marginal revenue when the price elasticity of demand is more than 1 it is positive less than 1 it is negative is equals to 1 it is constant profit is equals to total revenue minus total cost is equal to profit the individual or institution which take economic decisions are called as economic agents In 1936 British economist J M Keynes published his celebrated book General Theory of Employment Interest and Money All the laborer who are ready to work will find employment and all the factor will be working at their full capacity this school of thought is known as classical thought The great year of depression was in the year 1929 In a capitalistic country production activities are mainly carried out by the private enterprises the study of national income is related to macroeconomics nnp is equals to gnp minus depreciation is the answer the value of gdp at the current prevailing prices is nominal gdp by deducting undistributed profit from national income we get profit in personal income measuring the sum total of all factor of payment will be called income method the main function of money is medium of exchange the bank which act as a monetary authority of india is rbi the banks which are part of the money creating system of the economy are commercial banks so the money authority is rbi and the money creating system here you can see don't get confused the bank which act as a monetary authority of india is rbi part of money creating system is commercial bank so don't get confused over here the rate at which rbi lends money to commercial bank against securities is called as bank rate the important tool by which rbi influences money supply is open market operation consumption which is dependent of income is called autonomous when it is independent it is autonomous value of mpc value of consumption or saving everything lies between 0 and 1 the point where x ante aggregate demand is equal to x ante aggregate supply will be equilibrium easy availability of credit encourages investments in the situation of excess demand demand will be more okay than production then supply the taxes on individual and firms are direct taxes duties levied on goods produced within the country is excise duties the tax which act as a automatic stabilizer is proportional income tax whenever the income increases the tax also increases what is an example of a paper tax it's wealth tax when demand exceeds the available output under conditions of inflation in inflation what happens demand will be more but the supply will be less the consumer and producer can choose between domestic and foreign goods this market linkage is called as output market linkage it means to whom you are going to produce and uh, how you are going to choose the product from where are you going to choose the product who is going to provide the product so these are considered related to output the exchange rate is determined by the market forces of demand and supply is called as 
flexible exchange rate. The balance of payment record this transaction between residents and with the rest of the world is all of the above. The rate at which price of one currency in terms of foreign currency is called foreign exchange rate. In this standard, all currencies were defined in terms of gold, which is called as gold standard. So by this, we have completed all of the MCQs and by just referring all of these MCQs, I'm sure that you're going to score 10 out of 10. And stay tuned for my coming videos where we'll, we will be discussing all the fill-ups, match-ups, important 4 marks, 6 marks, POQs and much more so that you can score more than 80%. So please go through with this seriously and start preparation for your exams thank you so much for watching if you like this video do like share comment and share it with your friends so that they also